uh, Academy Award, whatever. And then Paul Newman appears at the barn, uh -huh. and he speaks oh, with you, yeah. and yeah. then he leaves. And that would have been it. I'm sure he went out. Oh, that would have been it. Oh, that's yeah. a stick he does. It's I his think meet it's a and greet. It's, it's a like it's like already backstage at an Indian casino. <laughs> <laughs> I take, a pic I take a you picture of the tribe. Right. You find this with Indian casinos, that some of them are real old Indians, like from the movies. Absolutely. And some guys are just young guys that are like, they you know, they look like Indians. Want to go get a lady? Yeah. And the other guys are like, this is my wife. <laughs> Fourteen. No, yeah, the kids are the Indians. Because yeah. when you do an Indian casino, you you have to meet the tribe, tribe leaders. Yeah. And and the the kids, their grandkids and shit, they all look like you know the the, the Jonas Brothers. Right. Right. They're, they're dressed in like shit yeah. from the Gap. And yeah. You start to feel like it's all one big scam. No one really looks like an Indian. That's what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's pretty hard to prove. But Norm wanted to. The, the funny thing about that was Norm could have won a million bucks, and. He was like, fuck the charity. Regis kept saying, Norm, you sure you want to do this? Because, you know, if you lose, it's nothing. And Norm, Norm's crazy gambling attitude was like, no, no, I want to win the million dollars. Why did you stop at a half a million? Uh, he talked me out of it. Regis yeah. talks him out of it. Yeah, well, half a million dollars. You would have gone for it. Yeah. And he well, knew I mean, the question. If it had been me, I would have done it. Didn't right. you know the question? Yeah, I knew the answer. Oh, wow. You did. Whatever. What Whatever. was the million dollar question, yeah. do you know? So, yeah, I, yeah, I know. What His lifeline was, was Sam Simon, and oh. Sam yeah. said, and he hadn't used Sam yet. Like, Norm got the fuck from the grand without. He didn't even use all of his lifeline? I know, I know. What was the million dollar question that they would have asked you had you played on? It's not entertaining. I want to know. Yeah, it is. For me, it is. What was it? anybody knows what it is. Ask us the it's what a golf course, a bomb shelter, is built under for the government. Bunker. What? Yeah, bunker. Yeah. What? 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 Is that your answer? Is that the way or, Regis or read the question? Clarifying? No, no. Again, say the question again. What? Underneath a certain golf course is a bunker that, in case of a nuclear war, all the congressmen and senators. I'd say probably a Camp David's uh, private uh, uh, golf course, but let's see. What no, golf course? No, why would you have it there? They hang what it there. The name is what golf course? Yeah. But but this, would, this would only be an interesting question. Fred, do you know that? This no, would only be an interesting question on the golf network. <laughs> no, but it's because it's an interesting question because for a million dollars. How yeah, did right. you know the answer to this? How would you know where a bunker That's is amazing. built under a golf course? How did you know the answer? And you know, know the I name. Know. I read stuff. Right. Do you read a lot? Is that what you, th what you like to do? You like to read books and things? <laughs> All right. Do you like uh, to read uh, books? They give you four to choose from, right? Four different golf courses. Yeah. And you have to pick yeah. them up. But you knew the answer yeah. right off. You didn't even need I was pretty sure of that. Yeah. What were the four? Do you remember the four? But then, yeah, I remember the four. Go I ahead. Give us the four. four. You want me to remember all four? Pinehurst, uh, Greenbrier, uh... See, the ones I'm searching for, you know, aren't going to be the answers. Yeah, well, wasn't it Greenbrier? Yeah, it was Greenbrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's and you that? knew that. Fred knew. Wow. Fred. See, it wasn't that hard a question. It was just either you know it or you don't. Oh, you should have gone for the million. What a schmuck you were. Yeah. Well, he wanted to. He kept <laughs> yeah. saying, like, no, no, I want to go. No, no, this was the problem. When I was talking to Regis, I didn't know he, I didn't know, I thought he knew the answers to the questions, you know. So during the thing, I would know answers, and then I, I'd see something in his eye. He'd be like, you sure you want to do this? We got the lifeline. So I go, okay, well, let me use the lifelines. Like, I thought he was saying, like, you're, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But then it turned out later he never knew it. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know that. They don't tell him the answer. <laughs> yeah, right. Comes up. Wow. So, yeah. Well, anyway, listen. Norm, well, I wish it was more entertaining. It didn't no, seem entertaining you were very entertaining. You were very of fact, funny today. It seemed less entertaining than usual to me. Really? No, I thought uh, this was one of your better appearances. Norm always thinks that. Norm always thinks he sucks, and it's like the funniest thing ever. If you thought you sucked, why don't you get up now and juggle a little bit? Really? If you do some juggling, <laughs> it'll be a home run. I think you don't add juggling to this one. No? Save the juggling. <laughs> you think that's overkill, Robin? The next time will be. No, you were terrific. You really were. Yeah. Yeah, I never hey, but uh, you want to see a... Uh, I never saw anyone come in here and light up the room the way you did. <laughs> well, he, he, he skewered this broad who wrote the article. I thank that you. That was great. It's always yeah, good to have fuck her. friends fuck her. in show business who do that because for you. That's you were insulted for Artie with his Rolling yeah, Stone article. Yeah, fuck her. Right. Yeah. Well, Norm MacDonald, of course, has a long history with Artie. And plus, she wants, probably wants to be famous, too. And the other thing is... Uh, I, met, I met Artie. I, that's why I was saying I shouldn't even bring it up. because you know. I'm no, I met Artie famous. through Norm MacDonald. That's and right. You are a, uh, you're a great guy. And uh, let me just say that uh, you have a very big, big show coming up. And I'm not up. plugging anything. I'm not here to plug anything. What well, I, you're not, I, but it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, maybe I do have a big show. Do you I have do a have show? a big show coming up. <laughs>
<laughs> are you a tough guy to hang around with? I would imagine you are. In what other, the fuck I don't think you have for? a lot of friends, do you? I, I, I consider Artie my friend. No, come on. You, when's no, the last time often you spoke you to Artie? Him. I don't have a lot of friends. I wish I, if I lived in L.A., I would see Norm all the time. I you don't have, talk to him. I don't click with many of you guys. But, no, because yeah. I, I would imagine I'd be nervous to hang out with you. Why would you be? Because I think you're, you're listen, you're obviously uh, a kind of closed-off guy. You're very sarcastic. <laughs> Is there a yes. real Norm? Is that what you're saying? Is, Is there a, a real Norm? I always Norm think Norm's... What a great ending. This is a, what a, <laughs> I always think guys like it. Johnny Carson. Great to have you with us. You know what I've noticed about you? You're not likable. <laughs> no, you're, I didn't say that. You're Richard Nixon. Yeah, you're, yeah I'm Richard Nixon. No, hey, I didn't say that. Can you're, I say a thing I heard on Nixon this morning? Sure. On YouTube? He was saying it's called YouTube. You can look it up. It's called YouTube Archie Bunker, right? And so it's him coming in. He's talking to fucking uh, Ehrlichman, right? Right. He goes, or uh, Bob Haldeman, right? And he goes, uh, Bob, I was watching a football game the other day. And they come on to the movie afterwards. God damn this uh, movie. <laughs> Glorifying homosexuality. <laughs> they had a guy there, two magnificent, virile, handsome guys come in. And there was an, oh, a hard hat there named Arch. And Haldeman goes, yes, that's a show every week, sir, whatever. And uh, Arch comes in and... <laughs> Uh, this fairy comes in. He comes in very gay, and he has the ascot on. But they do it cleverly, not offensive. You see, he's a very articulate man. He knows the arts, and so they do it very cleverly, glorifying the homosexuality. And uh, Arch comes in. And he's the son-in-law comes in. I guess he he goes both ways. This fag. <laughs> <laughs> so Arch goes down to his friend at the bar. And this guy works for the. And then there's a guy there from the from the Detroit Lions. Friend, best friend, of Arch. This guy, he's. Boop, 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 I'm on the Detroit Lions. Well, the bartender says, Arch, that uh, that fellow's not. He's one of those. <laughs> Arch says, No, no, no. Well, he goes up to him, the fella, and Arch uh, Arch says to the fellow, Is that true? Well, yes, sir. He says, right, It is true. <laughs> he says, Have you ever seen me with a girlfriend? No, I haven't. Well, goddamn! I turned the fucking thing off. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> the funniest I see that was really, really talking about. You gotta fucking yeah, look it up on YouTube. It's the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. I'm looking at it right now. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it was. Is Nixon. it the funniest thing, Gary? Yeah, Nixon. How fucking funny is that? That sounds Nixon hilarious. Was so out of it, he didn't even know about Archie Bunker. No, he thought and it was a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He thought it was a movie and a real life. And because there's a hippie son in law and some screwball daughter. Yeah. That's the best. And he was really upset. The number one. How could he not country. know that show, man? Because he I think because he's so but he's smart and thinking about I think he's thinking of other things. Like, uh, we're the retards. I guess. But, but I Norm, the only. I didn't mean to insult you, but I realized that you would be hard to read in a social situation. You can never tell if you have. Having fun. Oh, and, really? You know, I'm one of those people that stresses out whether my guest is having fun. So if we were hanging out, I'd say, I don't think Norm is really having a good time. I think he wants to be off gambling for high stakes. Oh, no. Well, that's no, usually no. true, but no. Would no. he like to make his living gambling? Maybe we yes. could try it one time. I was going to be Martin Short's friend for a while. We were in negotiations. Yeah, what, <laughs> how'd that break down? I don't know. I met him. He was fucking funny, and, and he made me laugh, and he was laughing at me and shit. So I said, hey, we should be friends and stuff. And he said, yeah, well, let's be friends. You go to a cottage. And I was like, ah, fuck, I'd have to go to a cottage, you know. And then so it never, it. it never caught on because the cottage was in my head and shit. What do you but mean still, I would like, you know, that guy would be cool to I fucking know. hang out with. I met him. That would be a good But then you. going to a cottage, you understand. I don't want to go to a cottage. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the problem. All of a you. sudden, you're going to a cottage on a plane. But that's you know, the problem. Maybe I Norm, should have done this. No, what? that's the problem What's with that? you. So if someone suggests something, right away, it's not... Too guarded. Cool. I know what you're it's saying. Not too, it's, you're not, it's not cool enough for you. Where would no, you go cool with Martin Short? I think, uh, I think, Martin Short says, let's go to a cottage no, I'm and not saying out. that. I'm yeah. saying, like, I, I think you're right when I said I'm too guarded. Like, yeah, I'm not willing be, to do things. You don't want to be trapped in a cottage with Martin Short. No, I love that part. The idea of being friends with Martin Short is fun. The idea of being in a cottage with Martin Short is <laughs> having the pressure to talk and yeah, to interact yeah. with one another. Yeah. I understand I'm the yeah. same way. Yeah. It wouldn't work out for you, yeah. and it wouldn't yeah. work out for me either. But you go on that vacation. But maybe with, in another uh, lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> you go on that vacation with Sam to Hawaii. That's cool, right? Well, he's with his kid. When Norm's with his kid, he's not so cool. He just made a face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's, your kid? how's Dylan doing, man? Dylan's how's your doing kid? Right. Dylan's doing All right. Why okay. don't you call him? He right? hates anything with children. No, I Unless, don't. No, he does. You, you don't. He I does. Why? I love my kids. He made the face. No, you made the face. Yeah. I didn't make no face. I said, how did you like that vacation with Sam? And he... I was, That vacation was great, man. Hey, you, you, Robin. Yeah? You asked me a question. <laughs> All right, look. 
Then she goes back to her Sudoku. <laughs> isn't, that what, isn't that what ladies do? <laughs> That's as much I know about ladies. Howard, what if we ended up being friends? Like, it can't like Rickles and Newhart. Yeah, that'd be fun. We got, let's go to the go Great to, Wall of China together? Let's go to Europe with the wives. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, the great Norm MacDonald. I always Thank feel you. like there's so much more what to if we say. Went to Europe?